So here is one of two people who are feeling probably the most enormous amount of pressure they could feel today in terms of the Kavanaugh nomination. I imagine they're, um, if they're smart, Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins have each other on their friends and family plan because they uh, neither one of them wants to take this leap by themselves. I have a feeling Murkowski wants to um, to stop this more than Collins on some level, but they need each other because they don't want to be the only Republican to do this. And I'm willing to bet they're also looking for a third or fourth Republican to also say this. The you problem also is death threats. The problem is you may have Jeff Flake out there who's willing to say something like this, but or you may have Bob Corker maybe saying something like this, but these guys are retiring. They need somebody who's not going to retire, who is willing to stand up and say we should slow this down. Lindsey Graham is hemming and hawing. He first probably needs confirmation that he's not on the short list to replace somebody in the Trump administration before he does anything. But here is Susan Collins uh, last night in the wake of the revelations that um, Kavanaugh's accuser uh, was going to go public or had gone public and the story she had to tell. Well, I obviously was very surprised, and um, it's, it's an issue that I brought up with him last Friday, and um, he denied, um, as he did in his written statement. That's really all I have to say at this point. What do you think? Should the committee vote coming up here this week? I'm going to be talking with my colleagues, but I really don't have anything to add at this at this point as I said I did ask I did read the letter last week and asked the judge in a telephone conversation on Friday about it and he was very emphatic in den his denial do you believe the accuser I don't know enough to, to make a judgment at this point so uh, this morning at 9.03 a.m., uh, do you have this uh, tweet? Um, yeah, I sent it to you as well, Matt. Yeah. Susan Collins tweeted out that Professor Ford, this is the woman who has made the accusation, and Judge Kavanaugh, this is the uh, lying perpetrator, excuse me, uh, <laughs> judicial nominee, uh, should both testify under oath before the Judiciary Committee. Now, it is, um, you know, this is not really as bold of a tweet as one might expect. I could also say everyone should get along. <laughs> or I could say, like, <sighs> Michael should be cleaning up after himself in the office. I actually clean up. Uh, the I'm most speaking after hypothetically. Myself. No, that's one I'm going to get. I'm going to be a hair trigger on that one. But um, I am in a position this to say, Michael, you can't come in here unless you clean up. Susan Collins Good is in day, a sir. position to say, this process cannot go forward, and I will not participate in this process going forward unless both testify under oath before the Judiciary Committee. Now, she would have to do that in a more concise fashion because she wouldn't have the, all the characters to do that in a tweet, but she could work it out. I was tweeting, you prick. <laughs> What's your problem? She, she has Samantha the ability Maddow. to make sure that happens. She can call Lisa Murkowski and say, Lisa, or Ms. Murkowski, or Senator, it's I, Susan Collins, and we should stop this process now. Let's get Mitch on the phone and tell him stopping it. It is I, Susan Collins. It is you, Lisa Murkowski. 
There you go. I don't know. Let's get I don't know that. how they talk on the phone. Maybe they just text. Let's get that no, it's mutant always, Mish McConnell to stop the process. But that's the process we're looking at. It's always he, using phrases like, it is I. It is I. <laughs> Mitch McConnell, he looks like he grew up next to a toxic waste dump. That is why he is so deformed looking. Um... Also, I, I think uh, Lisa Murkowski has a very specific uh, uh, pressure, which I don't know will affect her one way or another, but apparently Native Alaskans were important to her last yes. re-election, and there's a ruling that could basically jeopardize fishing, as far as I understand. Kavanaugh or, participated yeah, in it. Right. So uh, that could just, not only the ecological cost, but destroy like the livelihoods of Plenty of her constituents. She and that was is desperately real looking specific. because of that. Right. Uh, and just needed one more push. That's why I think Murkowski She's probably is, good on is, this. Yes.